Yes, we're back. CHOY 101.7 FM. That was the Butthole Surfers with Shame of Life. Just a tune that I've had in my mind. Also, speaking of tunes that are stuck in my mind, I got a couple of fresher than fresh tracks I'm about to lay up here from SD Yogi, who's joining me here on the phone. Got little tunes in the background. Welcome there, Sime. How you doing, Jess? Very well, buddy. Very well. So, SD Yogi, uh, maybe you can give the, the listeners a little bit of a background. Uh, you're a music producer. You're a, a bit of a yoga star. Uh, all around, uh, quite a variety of different stuff you do with your beats. Uh, everything from acoustic to uh, hip hop. That's right. Um, you know, I mean, I try not to pigeonhole myself too much because I don't want to get stuck having to do one thing. So I, I try to do as much. Uh, uh, you know. I, to be honest, I'm going for Soul Legend. Soul Legend. <laughs> nice little gap in the market there now that Barry White is uh, gone and uh, James Brown has uh, uh, passed on to the great dance floor in the sky. That's right. Excellent, excellent. So I got a couple of uh, of uh, tracks I'm going to lay up here. Just uh, things that have been stuck in my mind lately. Now you don't do any uh, live performances, so I can't really uh, prop your live performances uh, coming up here. Maybe you can uh, get into a little bit uh, why you're why you're a background kind of guy. Oh, it's a good question. You know, um, basically, uh, I did a show out in Hope uh, a few years ago and. It was it was at a, a real rafting resort, you know. And it was beautiful, uh, beautiful backdrop. We had rafts, uh, uh, rap, uh, rapids behind me, I should say, and this cliff and 100 people or so. And it was my first show, and I kind of started rocking out. And I just thought, oh, you know, I really wish I had the ability to have my production behind me and have it all live. And so I sort of started pursuing the uh, the bigger picture, per se. And it's not that I don't plan on getting into the live scene and you know i may or may not but i just love the the creative outlet of uh being able to put everything you'd like to on paper so to speak so. right on now you've done a little bit of video production as well um and uh your but your main talent is uh is yoga maybe uh or maybe you're, what you're most renowned for in terms of your performance is yoga That's right yeah i'm uh you know i'm a i'm a two-time canadian yoga asana champion so what that means is i've uh i've represented canada in the yoga world asana championships a couple of times and they've been held in la and i know la sounds a bit crazy to have a yoga championship but uh you know, it's a it's a international competition, so all of the India yogis come in for that, and all of the Netherlands yogis, and the Canadians yogis, and the U.S. yogis, and and you know, yoga is is really evolving to a really amazing art these days. So it's um, you know, even even uh, competition in yoga alone sounds very abstract and hard to wrap your head around, but when it comes down to it, you know, it's not it's not uh, breakdance fighting. It's it's more of uh, a personalized challenge and the judges are you know very you know masters if, if if i may and they sort of they judge you on your poise your grace your flexibility your strength you know they try to get the whole package in there and and uh really interesting experience so in terms of me being a music producer or into music i'm, I'm trying to sort of hit a niche of uh bringing that authentic yogi sort of thought and lifestyle into music into art and uh you know i have a, a website uh it's uh the pyc.com it's actually the dash pyc.com and that stands for the the pirate yogi crew and uh so again this is just me sort of trying to bring a new dimension to art yoga music lifestyle health you know all sorts of things like this all right so that's the dash pyc dot com that's right right on and so uh now you pirates are particularly fond uh, uh part of my uh, uh nostalgic uh, uh memory uh, so tell me a little bit more why why pirate yogi crew well you know um basically what i what i came down to was the corporate mass of yoga is a very dangerous uh game and uh you know, you're dealing with uh, you're dealing with the subconscious mind. You're dealing with um, the emotional body, and to to have these yoga teachers that are sort of pumped out of these 300 people classroom yoga teacher trainings, and they've had their you know their two weeks or their two months of yoga training pumped into the industry, where they become now 
the leader of your your yoga practice per se and you know you know a lot of times you just keep your mouth shut and this teacher tells you what to do and you take their word for it right so this this to me became a very dangerous uh, suspicious uh, industry so the the pirate element became you know you, you almost got to be a pirate these days in order to stick up for yourself or to, to um, uh, you know to represent anything other than the corporate world you're coined as a pirate because you're out of the norm so the pirate yogi crew is was my uh, my approach to representing that authentic uh, really heartfelt yoga vibe that you know where the intentions are true as opposed to lucrivity and money and and, and like you you can probably uh, vouch for the you know that that angle on piracy you know so Right on. So we're going to get into uh, a little bit of uh, exactly the type of soul speak you, you were just uh, laying into there. This next track uh, is particularly one of my favorite tracks, probably of all time. Um, don't know if it's just because uh, I got to hear it so early in its, uh, in its inception. Before This is an unreleased track, everybody, coming up here. This is yeah. Mohawk Soul. I don't know if you want to lead into this one at all or if you want to say anything about uh, what, what brought you to this moment here when this was produced. but. <laughs> you know what? Uh, sure. You know, th- this song came from a girl that I met uh, through the grapevine, and, and instantly she just said, she was kind of swooned by me. You know, she said, you're trouble. And I said, no, no, I'm not trouble. I'm just soul, you know. And so out came this song, uh, Mohawk Soul, and, and uh, I do have a love for it as well, and I, you know, I really love that you love it, and uh, I hope that uh, the CHLY fans out there can feel it as well. And... Uh, Mohawk Soul, SD Yogi. Check it out. All right, this one's Mohawk Soul. Coming up here, CHLY 101.7 FM. You've been listening to SD Yogi here on the greatest radio station on earth, yes, broadcasting sir. from the center of the world here at CHLY World Headquarters underneath the Queen's Hotel, the China Steps. This is Mohawk Soul, unreleased on CHLY. Thanks a lot, I said I'm so She says I'm trouble I said I'm so Yo, these hands that rock the cradle Rock the rock that rock the roll And I am the sun that light the air to the throne That attitude is fatal, baby You have got to go Cross the deadly sea, baby The fairy man is told As I slip under the wire Just enough to be admired Conducting my own electric empire Centuries have passed where I'm known as the sire Can't stop now the ring of the cypher Fire! Cannibal and eat while you unfold. Can you suck on anyone? Let's let the truth be told. Cause my tongue can ramble, ramble like a righteous drum roll. She like the rock, yes, yeah, she like the roll. She like the flashy tatties and the mohawk soul. She make me smile so big, she be grinning like I'm gold. She says that I'll be trouble, I says, baby, I'm so.
I'm trouble. I said I'm so. Yeah, we just had a caller phone in, reflecting on a couple of things that were said a little bit earlier on in our conversation with Dirk Becker, and a message out to the world from CHLY. It's all about the humanity. So, you just resonate on that one, Dirk Becker, getting in touch with his human side being the great gardener that he is on one acre and the rest of you hope you're out there doing the same thing planting the little seeds of revolution because there's no revolution that's ever been successful that doesn't have a good supply of food so make sure you not only grow it but you harvest it and you store it because you'll need 52 jars of whatever it is you like to eat before we can move forward all right and that last one Mohawk Soul from a man, S.D. Yogi, phoning in from over in the Cultus Lake, uh, taking time out from uh, whatever posture he was doing over there, bringing together all kinds of truth in his yoga and his music, and uh, establishing the Pirate Yogi Crew, so you can check it out at the-pyc.com, so props to him. But uh, as he's going for the big soul image here, the big soul, uh, capturing the soul, promoting the soul, I thought I would play a little Barry White in his honor. And uh, this one also goes out to Amber, because it's her birthday. So happy birthday, Amber. And uh, this is Barry White playing your game on CHLY. You touch a gun. But don't you know you can't hide? No, no, baby. 